Jury deliberations for the Henry Bain trial is now into day 11, and the curiosity is building. There's been no word or request from jury members since last Friday. Now, Cindy, even Bain's defense lawyer is going over different scenarios in his mind. I mean, to me, it's sort of a tricky situation being on the outside, of course, while this jury is sequestered. They have to reach a unanimous decision. And in situations where a jury member uh, comes out and wants a legal clarification, has a specific question about certain testimony, for example, well, that can give the lawyers and the journalists here some clue, some indication as to what they're stymied on, what they're debating, if there's something they don't understand, gives you a little bit of insight, perhaps, into the process behind closed doors. But we've had no such indication. So even Alan Gutman, Bain's defense lawyer, is wondering, are they deadlocked in there? Is there one juror who is holding out on a certain point? Or are they really actively debating um, what is at the initial stage uh, the crux of this, whether or not uh, Bain should be found not criminally responsible, which is the defense? His position, but on the other hand, the Crown, of course, uh, argued with an opposite psychiatric assessment uh, that Bain knew what he was doing, uh, that he uh, uh, planned this crime and carried it out with intent. So that is one of the bids first decisions that the jury has to make, and we're all waiting to hear uh, what they will come up with. They have until 5:30 today, uh, and then they break again for another day. Of course, as uh, each day passes, this must be, we imagine, very difficult for the families of the victims as well. We'll bring you up to date if we learn anything this afternoon. Mitsumi? Thanks very much, Cindy. And that's Cindy Sherwin at the Montreal Courthouse.